Freezing temperatures right here in the Bay Area has workers at major nurseries working to protect acres and acres of plants and palms. ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomon live tonight in Hudson. Julie, if temperatures dip too low, there's an obvious danger to the plants, but there are ways to protect them from the cold, right? And that nursery owner is taking several precautions tonight. You can see behind me, he's covered dozens of plants out here on the 43 acres that he owns. He says homeowners can use sheets as long as those sheets don't get wet overnight, because if that happens, it defeats the purpose. So we start from the bottom and you got to watch for the thorns. Peter Santangelo has 43 acres of palms, plants and trees. He's owned Canterbury Farms in Hudson for 22 years. He's not allowing Mother Nature to ruin it. It was 31 out here this morning and it got down about 29, about an hour before the sun rises is when it gets cooler. 17 employees spent nearly three days preparing for the cold snap we've seen this week. They're out covering dozens and dozens of plants. This winter protection fabric is awesome fabric because it keeps a, like a seven to eight, 10 degree difference underneath from the heat rising from the ground. We also got a look at the hot houses around the property. It stays about 20 degrees warmer inside one of these. Many of the tropical plants were moved inside the tents. Just one heater keeps the warmth locked in. The nursery will also run its irrigation system, forming a layer of ice to protect the plants. Igloo effect, a layer of ice over the plant that keeps the plant insulated at 32 degrees. So you keep the water running until the sun comes up the next morning and you keep the water running as the sun hits it, it melts the ice off. And the owner tells me he plans on running the irrigation system starting at one o'clock this morning. He says the last time he dealt with a harsh freeze was back in 2010. Reporting live in Hudson tonight, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.